Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Monday, November the 22nd, 2021. Today we're pulling from the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot Cards. So we start off with the Four of Potions, which is the Four of Cups. And I feel like it definitely with the world and we're presented with four doors. I feel like we're about to be pre uh, presented with an opportunity here. I feel like we're kind of like, you know, in a point of life. And I definitely see this in the comments where it's like people are getting frustrated and I keep telling them like, you know, I understand because I was in a similar situation. I was trying to make something happen and then I was given information twice about it. And it's like, well, you know what? They're protecting me. You know, that's where I feel like it's like that opportunity cannot come before me yet because they were protecting me from, um, basically ending back you know to square one again so it's like sometimes we don't understand why things don't happen you know or maybe it's just showing us to be more appreciative more gratitude uh, more gratitude or you know even in some senses stop being so generous with our resources how we talked about you know in november or october where it's like you know we sit there and all these people are are waiting to you know collect on your resources when they need help but when the shoe's on the other foot it's like crickets. So highlighting people that are your people that are truly your people that will do anything to help you. And then there's those people that are just there just because they know they can get something from you. So spirit has a way of removing people from your life and adding and bringing in new people. You know, it is hard when this kind of situation happens, but you will, as soon as the emotions leave, you will sit there and keep going forward. You know, that's all we can do. We have the nine of potions. So I feel like because Jack the fool, because the fool card is walking towards the nine of pentacles and the nine of potions, I feel like things are lining up for you. So feel maybe you feel frustrated. Universe is going to present you with this opportunity of the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles in this brand new beginning, following our intuition, leaving behind all fear, worry, and doubt. And with luck, Jupiter on our side with the world, I feel like we're going to choose one of these doors. They were showing me from the um, Enchanted Forest uh, deck. Uh, I think it's the Seven of Doors. I may be mistaken with that. I, I know it's Seven, but I can't remember if it's the Seven of Doors or not. But they said that they're presenting us with all these opportunities and that we're going to concentrate on one and that will be our next chapter. So I definitely feel like with The Fool, a brand new beginning, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. We feel excited because we're like, oh, a great, a new opportunity. We're excited to see what this will bring. But it's like, you know, you're kind of apprehensive, but it's like in a good way. It's just like, well, you know, I'm going to keep moving forward and I'm taking in all the scenery and all the sounds and it's like new lessons, new people, new experiences. So it's just like, you know, I, f I definitely feel like, you know, um, with the year winding down, I definitely get that energy. You know, Chiron will be out of the sky December 19th. A lot of the cardinal signs will finally get, you know, to breathe because I feel like the second half of the year has just been beating over the head with a stick time and time again but it's like this is why it's happening to sh highlight things in our life and as we move forward to this new beginning we have learned these tough lessons because you know someone said it best when you're going through it and those people remove themselves from your life when you start doing doubly better you make that distance from them it's not tit for tat it's just like you know what if i'm if you cannot sit there and have my back when I need it, but I'm always there to have your back, then, you know, sorry, you know, keep your, infer that's why they keep telling us, keep things to ourself. Not, you know, as much as we love to celebrate and shout things out from the rooftop, sometimes it hinders us. So sometimes it's great to keep those things to yourself. So starting off with the four of potions, which are, which are four of cups on the far left, the four of potions indicates a decision needs to be made. But remember, you don't have to accept everything you are offered. Listen to your intuition and don't be afraid to decline opportunities that feel that don't feel right. Make sure you know what you're signing up for. Be careful to, and read the fine print. So remember I said on Throne Thursday, they were showing me like, you know, I'm sitting there. I'm in a lawyer's office. I'm sitting down and they hand me this check and it's like, don't be uh, bamboozled by the number. It looks like one hundred and six thousand dollars. So I'm not sure what happened here. Some sort of injury. I d they were highlighting the neck. Um, and it's like, you know, on the fine print, it said, this is not a mission of guilt, but rather this is um, a means to an end. And you are no longer uh, allowed to pursue 
any more legal action now or in the foreseeable future. So it's like they, they, you know, you get, you're like, Oh, that's a lot. But if you're in constant pain for the rest of your life and you'll need surgery on your neck, they're showing that you'll need like screws put into your neck. So this, that's a major surgery. So it's like, you know, all the bills that I'll accumulate from that, is that what the number they're giving you really worth it? So this is where they're saying like, read the fine print. Don't overlook that. You could, it's a bold lettering on the bottom. Make sure you uh, you know what you're signing up for uh, by carefully reading the fine print, especially when faced with offers that seem too good to be true. And this is exactly what Throne Thursday was talking about. So we go over to the Nine of Potions, so things are lining up. And I feel like if that situation of the fine print doesn't resonate with you, I feel like if you are like kind of looking at life and you're like, oh, I wish you know this would happen or this would happen, I feel like they're saying something's coming in. You know, and I feel like with the full brand new beginning, things are lining up with the nine of cups and the nine of presents, something financially, you know, so I definitely feel like it's like, don't just because it hasn't happened yet does not say mean it's not going to happen. Congratulations, your wishes are being granted. Your luck, uh, lucky stars have a line and things are finally falling into place. It's time to enjoy yourself and appreciate the magic of in life. If you, you could only bottle that feeling. And it's like a lot of times we wish we were in that, you know, energy, you know, where it's like, you know, happy and blissful. But it's like one thing um, I was talking to someone that I'm mentoring is like, you know, when we go through those ebbs in life, they're trying to teach us something, you know, and we can't sit there and write off those moments because, again, it's teaching us something. You know, and in those teachable moments, that's what makes us better. That's what, you know, when life, you know, when we're in that ebb, we're looking up. So we're, you know, you can only go up. You can only go towards the light and it gets brighter and brighter and brighter the closer you get to it. So as hard as those things and hurtful as those things are that we learn, there's a reason for it. You know, we may not see it now, but you will see it. So with the Ten of Presents, um, material abundance, you've made your dreams come true and reaping the rewards of your hard work. Now that you have everything you need, it's important to set yourself up for sustainable success by managing your income wisely. And this is where I was saying, you know, when things get to the Nine of Presents, you have to realize those people, when your back was against the wall, how nobody was there. You know, but who you believe in, this is why I always put the Lord first because he's never left my side. And, you know, as harsh as that's to say, you know, when your back's against the wall, you really truly see, you know, and that's what they're highlighting. Who truly has your back? So we have the fool, brand new beginning. And I love that Jack is actually walking towards the nine of presents and the nine of potions. The Fool represents someone who is starting an exciting adventure. Jack Skeleton, like the Fool, is enthusiastic and determined as he, as he sets out his uh, ill-advised journey to take over Christmas. Childlike enthusiasm as you take your first brave step towards something new. With limitless potential, there's no telling how far you'll go. And I definitely feel like when we set our mind to something, there's no stopping us. You know, when you feel when you're driven by something, you're passionate about something, you know, you want to, you know, just like when you want to set up for Christmas, you sit there and you take all the bins out, you know, you, you have to, you know, move some furniture around, but you're determined to make the house have that holiday feel. So it's just like that determination you put towards, like, you know, I'm just saying setting up for Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever this is, you will achieve it. So, you know, so we have to put energy in and the more energy you put into something, the universe will match it. You know, because they see like, you know, they're always trying. They're always, you know, trying to make moves towards the better. You know, they want to better their life. They're doing moves to better our life. So we're going to match that. You know what I mean? You can't just sit there and, and put a blanket around you and hide on your bed or on the couch and expect things to change. You got to sit there and try to make that change come about. So we have the world. So definitely starting, you know, we, we, you may be seeing a lot of 444, you know, so, you know, they're telling you that something's coming in. And then they're saying this with this new opportunity, you know, this is your next chapter. Your next chapter is here, you know, and I definitely feel like with Chiron leaving the, the, you know, the sky, it's like, you know, a lot of things, I feel like a lot of things that we wanted to happen are now going to happen because, you know, they were pointing out certain things that we had to learn. You've done it. You come so far, been through so much and learned so many powerful lessons along the way. You're feeling satisfied, happy and whole. Consider sharing your experiences with others. 
you have the ability to inspire people. So, you know, a lot of times it's like we sit there and overlook a lot of light workers where is it be our teachers, policemen, ambulance drivers, uh, EMTs, um, our doctors, nurses, lawyers, like, and when you do things in a positive judges, it's like, we are all born with that. It is up to us to sit there and, you know, be that light. You know, some of us have gone through experiences and adapters that light. And unfortunately, you know, we don't are no longer that light. So, you know, even when, you know, certain situations happen, yeah, it's horrible, but we'll learn to move forward from it. You know, we use those experiences to be that light in other people's life. You go to the hospital, yeah, there's some nasty nurses, but there's also the really kind ones that sit there and, you know, they abuse their body, you know, lifting people and shifting people, but they know that you're there on your worst day and they try to make that experience as, you know, pleasant as possible and to fix whatever is ailing you and that you leave with a positive experience and you're like, thank you for being that light in this, you know, this horrible journey. So, you know, I feel like you know, we overlook like teachers and stuff like that. And, you know, for, um, personal support workers, you know, so I feel like we all have this in us and it's, it doesn't matter what we do. It's like, are we going to be that positive light in the world? Are we going to just sit there and let our situations or things that have happened to us dim that light and just be another toxic, you know, force in this world? So I feel like, you know, it, yeah, it does. Sometimes it feels like it's like we're going against a mountain, but you know, one light surrounded by how many others will probably blast that mountain out. So don't forget that. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Monday, November 22nd, 2020, 2021. I almost said 2020. <laughs> um, just a quick reminder, if you're not signed up for any of uh, my platforms, I am open during the holidays. I did post it during the full moon forecast that we have a sale going on 50% off all readings. Um, as well open over the holidays. Um, so just uh, direct message me and then I could sit there and we could both work out a time that suits us. May the universe bless you good and we'll see you for the next Daily Tarot card. Bye.